I love acting. I think storytelling can change lives. And I love teaching acting maybe even more because it's not self-serving. And I think it helps me try to live a better life, make a better world. But because I never imagined I'd be a teacher, I've always doubted myself. One day in my class, I hear, you're a wonderful teacher. I stopped mid-sentence and looked over. It was Paul. I was touched, truly touched. And I did my best to thank him as kindly as he had complimented me. That's when I took notice of Paul. Before, I just assumed he was a curious senior citizen taking an acting class to fill time or be creative like a lot of my other students. But I was so wrong. In my class, I emphasize empathy. It's what actors use to create characters, putting yourself in someone else's shoes. I learned Paul lived his whole life that way. He would always stay after class to say good night, to say good class, very gently, almost fatherly. When he had to perform his monologue, the dad, Joe Keller, uh, from All My Sons, he had to engage his powers, the patriarch of the family, defending his actions. And when Paul got emotional, I noticed a tinge of an East Coast accent. I mentioned New York. He just smiled and said nothing. In my class, I encourage my students to experience this world of storytelling, telling them, see a play. Paul would do just that. And get back to me saying, I saw that play you suggested. I enjoyed it. After he moved on from my class, I'd get a random text from him suggesting a play or telling me how much he enjoyed another. <laughs> Just a kind man. So it broke my heart when I heard he had passed away. One of the many we've lost to the coronavirus. I was shocked. But not as shocked as when I found out who Paul really was. Remember empathy? I had no idea. But when I spoke to one of his sons, Jason, and learned more about Paul, it all made sense. That East Coast accent. Paul Constantine was born in Philadelphia, 1937. As I listened, I was touched by the love Jason had for his father, moved by the great respect he had for him as a person. He was the classic dad, Jason said, an extraordinary man, a curious man who cared about people so much. He cared about what they cared about. Paul being in my acting class wasn't random. You wanna know love? Because his son liked acting, Paul was interested in what his son was interested in and went to all of Jason's plays. Even clipped an article about St Sylvester Stallone's fight to make and star in the movie Rocky. Jason later produced a film with Stallone and introduced his dad to Stallone at the premiere. Showing love to the father who lived and taught him love and kindness. But Paul wasn't just a, a kind father and grandfather. He was fun and competitive. A chess master, Jason said. And don't let him get you in a ping pong game where you'll find out how good he really is. And right up to getting COVID, he was doing push-up contests with his grandkids. And it didn't end with the immediate family. People were Paul's family. He once mentioned to the son of a friend that he looked forward to seeing his graduation from medical school. And four years later, without mention, he shows up for the ceremony. Extraordinary? Yes. 
an incredible heart matched with an incredible intellect. Paul not only went to all of Jason's high school football games with the usual great game after, but recalled in detail all the plays Jason was involved in because he took everything in, remembered everything. And Paul showed the same love and eye for detail live streaming his grandson's hockey games. He was there. You know what being there means? When Jason left home for school on the East Coast, he and Paul flew together. And every Sunday night, he could count on a phone call with his father. Always there. Jason said his dad always met people where they were at. That makes perfect sense when I think of him complimenting me. He must have pick up, picked up on me wanting to be a, a, a good teacher. And he was there for me, for everyone. As a doctor, Paul was making house calls even after it was out of fashion, checking up on his patients even up until he got sick. In my world, that's like the stage manager, not seen, but utterly essential. Paul making a profound impact with no notice to himself. Hearing all this made me regret not getting more time with Paul. And it didn't surprise me when Jason told me of the numerous people whose lives Paul touched, who reached out to speak of Paul and the loving effect he had on their lives. They were doing what they learned from him. They cared the way he cared. They were there for him the way he was there for them. And they showed love for this doctor, grandfather, father, husband, this man, the way he showed his love for people. Being one of the many whose lives were touched by Paul Constantine, I can only hope to continue to live as he did, to continue his legacy of truly seeing others, of being there for them, caring about what they care about, and lifting their lives. Empathy.